Hi everybody, my name is Kevin Till. I'm better known in the industry as the Koi Medic, and I'm ex-chairman of the South African Koi Keeper Society. Over the years, I've visited thousands of koi ponds with numerous problems, especially when it comes to water flow. And what we found is the most exciting thing that Spec Pump has developed, which is called the Badu Solar Smart Pump, working on solar. We are very excited with Spec Pumps to introduce a fantastic model that will work very well for koi ponds. So let's go ahead and talk about it. The Badu Solar Smart from Spec. Now, circulation pumps can be the most energy hungry devices in our homes. But for your pool or koi pond, and with the never ending price hikes of electricity, coupled with load shedding, power saving devices around the home and garden are quickly becoming a priority for many South Africans. The revolutionary Badu Solar Smart from Spec will give you the perfect off grid solution for your swimming pool, koi pond, or any application that you need water circulated. The African sun is what we're most renowned for, and excellent weather like this is ideal for solar power, with 365 days giving an average of almost nine hours a day of sunlight, more than enough to run your swimming pool or koi pond pump. The Badu Solar Smart is supplied with DC power from the PV panels directly to the pump. Most solar pumps on the market running on DC power generally cannot provide the output performance of a normal AC pump. This is not the case with a Badu Solar Smart Pump. This is a DC pump with a performance of an AC pump. And this particular system is equivalent to a 0.75 kilowatt output. So what makes this pump so special? The Badu Solar Smart has a permanent magnetic brushless DC motor with a built-in variable speed drive. Wow, that is a mouthful. But what does that mean? A variable speed drive, or VSD, controls the speed and torque of a motor, and with that brings complete optimization and motor efficiency. VSD motors bring with other benefits including reduced maximum power demand, reduced stress on system components, accurate control of pressure, flow and temperature, improved safety and feature through reduced heat and noise levels, which are all included in the Badu Solar System. Other features include direct photovoltaic PV power source, a user-friendly control panel, MPPT feature to optimize motor power, MPPT, maximum power point tracking, or sometimes just PPT, power point tracking, is a technique used with photovoltaic PV solar systems to maximize energy extraction as conditions fluctuate. Built-in protection for high temperature fluctuations, voltage fluctuations, and overcurrent. Locked rotor, motor phase loss, motor stall, reverse polarity connection, and dry run protection. And last but not least, dual power usage capability. The Badu Solar Smart can run on solar only or in conjunction with power from the grid. And this is where it's a win-win for the koi industry. When you connect this pump to an AC DC converter, this means you can have the pump running on free PV power for nine hours of the day and the rest of the time on grid power. Let's talk about the control panel and the LED indicator lights on the control panel. Starting from bottom left, we have the power, which is watts, and then the power indicator light. Current, indicated in amps, and the current indicator light. Power on off, the light flashes when it's off. Light is constant when it's on. MPPT solar energy running lights, flashing slow or fast. We'll explain that shortly. Well, light indicates no water in well. Tank, light indicates when the tank is full of water. 
speed, RPM, and the speed indicator light, voltage, which is V, voltage indicator lights. So let's have a look at the various key buttons and their functions. First of all, we have set. For advanced setting parameters, this is when you set your preference on RPM. Then we go to the enter. You can enter setting. And then on up, RPM setting key, each time you press, the RPM will increase by 50 RPMs. In fault state, turn off and then on the fault display. Then down button, RPM setting key, each time you press, the RPM will decrease by 50 RPMs. Looking at the switch button, in the operation status, you can alternate the display mode between voltage being V, speed being RPM, current being A, and power being W in terms of watts. And then lastly, the on-off button, which explains itself. So with all these features, how does the Bardu Solar Smart Pump actually work? Firstly, it is a very easy installation. You will need two 550 watt solar panels, also available from spec, installed in series, and with every installation, there needs to be a DC breaker. Why? For safety reasons, of course. At some stage, be it for pump maintenance or replacement, you need to be able to switch the pump off and break the power supply completely. With that, there is also no spikes, shocks, or surges. Don't forget, DC power is much more dangerous than AC. Power on to start. Once connected with electricity, the system default is that the pump starts immediately, or if it's been switched off previously, use the on button to start. When the pump is in operation, press the off button to switch off the pump. Low power shutdown protection means if the pump operates on for a continuous period of time, the power is less than the set power at the current speed and continues for 20 seconds. The pump will stop immediately and report a P48 fault. After 30 minutes, the fault is automatically cleared. With PV direct power supply, the pump default setting is limited at maximum speed of 2,850 RPM. The pump running speed is also determined by the solar power current, which is maximum power point tracking. When the solar light improves, the output power of solar panel increases, and the pump speed increases, and of course, vice versa. In PV mode, the MPPT indicator will flash on the control panel. If it flashes fast, it indicates that the current working point is closer to the maximum working point. If the flashing frequency is steady and slow, it indicates that the maximum power point is being tracked. Should the solar power be insufficient, the pump speed will continue to fall. When the speed drops to 500 RPM, the pump automatically stops and reports a P46 fault after three seconds. When the solar power is too insufficient to maintain the current system of starting or running, the output voltage of solar panels will drop rapidly. When the minimum voltage drops to the lowest voltage of system and lasts for 10 seconds, it will report a PL fault on the control panel. Try consecutively five times to restart the pump by pressing the on button. If the PL fault still appears, keep the pump switched off for 30 minutes, then try to start again by pressing the on button. With a system like this, it will not only save you time and effort, but it will also save you money. And with such a beautiful system that has been set up by spec pumps, it will work on any koi pond, it will work on any swimming pool, and it will work on any water source that requires movement. And I endorse this 100% because this is the future for us. Thank you. Thank you.